What is going on guys? It's your boy Michael Z. Uh, yeah, so the new Avengers Endgame trailer just dropped and uh, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reacting to it. Um, I saw like the first one second of it um, when I was, you know, receiving, uh, when I got the notification that the video got uploaded. So um, yeah, very excited for this. Uh, as you know, I've just watched Captain Marvel and I've done a Captain Marvel review and if you haven't seen that video yet and you've you know already watched Captain Marvel then make sure to click the link down below I'll link my video to it or you can just find it somewhere okay enough talking let's let's get on with this okay here we go oh shit okay God, seems like a thousand years ago I fought my way out of that cave became Iron Man I think he's talking to Nebula right here Realized I loved you. Oh no, never mind. I can't. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. Oh, Captain America. The world has changed. None of us can go back. Oh. We can do what is our best. Oh, that's Clint and his that's and his girl. Yeah. Every time I hear the Avengers theme, in my I just get chills. See Black Widow with the hair. A man came out. Oh! Hey! Whatever it takes. Hold on, I might have to watch that again, guys. <clears throat> Jeez. Hold up, what is this? Come on, man, I don't want to see no ads right now. Okay, let's, let's, let, before I watch it again, let's talk about it. So, a few things. Uh, the first thing I've noticed is that Tony Stark and Nebula does make it back to Earth, obviously. Uh, and they were all wearing a Quantum Realm suit. Uh, we see Ant-Man come out, seeing all those posters that um, everybody got missing. Um, and then we see Black Widow with her long hair now, a time skip, I'm guessing. But I guess, so how like how long has the time passed since, you know, in the first trailer when Steve um, and Black Widow are both, you know, looking at the, the, the screen where Ant-Man comes out and say, hey, uh, can you open up? I'm on the front door. That, at that time, Black Widow still had her short hair, so I'm not sure what's up with that or maybe they CGI'd it or whatever and we see Captain Marvel interacting with everybody at the end um, like Thor, I like her like I think Thor is just too like he's just too fucking sick he just he just grabs the Shoo. I like this one. Oh fuck alright let's watch it again let's watch it again oh. good tribute to um, Iron Man good tribute to Iron Man and Captain America because those two were like the two main like backbone of Marvel you know back in the days when it first started out so yeah the beginning is a tribute sort of a tribute to them um, have I missed anything uh, we see Rocket with 
uh, with a um, war machine on his shoulders doing that typical, you know, uh, standing on somebody's shoulders, start shooting, you know. And we see Ant Man fighting something. I don't know where it was. And and people thought that, you know, when the in the first trailer, when Captain or someone was tying up the Captain America shield, someone thought that it might have been Bucky. But I think in this case, it just showed. Damn, it's a bit loud. One second. So yeah. Uh, so, but I think it is that actually Captain America, and like you could see him all like dirted up and that. Like I think that is in the final moment, and we also see Nebula doing the same, same similar thing in the first in, in the Avengers Infinity War trailer when he just when she just pulls out the knife and Electric goes on and he's just like ah, you know. All right, let's watch it again. Man, this is gonna be a perfect ending too. And obviously, whatever he's saying right now is all part of that speech to his helmet. We see a few people at the background. The Might be the mom. And the Marvels kept their theme red, pure red. I wonder why that is. I mean, obviously the Marvel logo is red, but maybe there's other reasons. Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. Yeah, I wonder where that is. Come on, Rocket. Yeah. I wonder who he's fighting. Who Hawkeye is fighting. Pencil, I see, we see it. Where is Amman doing? This scene right here. Suit up. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, <clears throat> so I wonder, yeah, first of all, I wonder who Hawkeye is fighting in that alleyway uh, where that big explosion is. Uh, and the nebula is like, there's a train, it looks like, I wonder where they are. Like, especially where Nebula is just, you know, ready, prepared for battle, taking out her two swords, you know, Loki style, you know, the, the, the whole Odin family style, like, shh. But yeah, this is this. I don't know. This looks like Earth, but I'm not sure if this is Earth actually. I doubt it's actually Earth. Um, so we see the Queen Jet. Damn. So wait, when did it? When did the red theme change? Oh, okay. When it actually. Oh, okay. I see. So the red, the, the, when it's just red and black, that's when you know they talk recapping the past of the uh, Infinity War. And then when it gets to real time, they you know all colors now. We see Black Widow really upset. Blonde tip, red hair, red hair grew out. Um, out of all these missing posters, I w yeah I don't see anyone relevant. It's just just normal people, Ant Man, looking at it. But we do see, however, Hawkeye training, training his daughter to shoot an arrow. And we see some, but like we see. F oh, wait, hold up. Why is there three people at the background? I mean, I know they had, a f you know, a recent child, but that child looks a bit too big. Okay, so here we see a. 
upgraded version of the War Machine armor and Rocket uh, Rocket's new suit. Yeah, that suit, um, the costume Rocket's wearing right now is actually very um, comic accurate. Um, but we see we see War Machine with these two little like screws coming out here. I don't know what they're for. Probably just not much really. But yeah, we see his 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 um, suit become more bulkier. Looks bulk bulkier. Uh, seeing Nebula on Earth is just so like odd because she's never been to Earth, right? And she's wearing the the Quantum Realm suit because obviously there will be time travel. I'm guessing all of them are gonna jump into um, the van or the quantum tunneling thing that um, Hank Pym made and they're gonna travel back in the past oh if they travel back in the past could one of these some of these battles be be the past battles but right now you know obviously then the past now so where could this be where could this be I hope they don't show too much in the trailers I really hope they don't I mean Marvel knows what they're doing I mean how much is too much you know that's kind of subjective but yeah i think that's it april 26 guys <sighs> and if by now you still haven't like jump on a marvel you know train do it like the, i know there's a lot of films 21 films but do it before you watch endgame because like once you watch all of the previous films and then you watch endgame that's just it's like it feels like a perfect like an ending, but it's not really an ending because obviously uh, MCU will carry on afterwards, but we won't see some of these characters. But for us, for like the younger generation who grew up watching Iron Man, the first Iron Man, this, this will feel like a good ending. Um, I just hope that they don't end it too much where it feels like, ah, nothing can top this. There's no point watching any more MCU films. I hope they don't like, I hope that doesn't happen, happen, happen with me at least. Um, I doubt it will, but I am I am worried a bit because um, since spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Captain Marvel, don't watch this bit. Skip. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen Captain, if like in Captain Marvel, Scrolls turn out to be the good guys, right? Um, so I'm wondering how they're gonna do Secret Invasion. Um, but obviously, Kevin Feige, the head director of Shield, the president of um, not Shield the president of the Marvel Entertainment, he said that there are good scrolls and there are bad scrolls, just like any other people on the planet, on any other planet, there's good and bad people. So we could still see Secret, secret Invasion. But I'm wondering whether that if one of these Avengers die, right, let's say Captain America, he dies and he his body modifies back into a scroll, like that would open doors and Captain Marvel will be there, will be like, oh my God, he was a scroll all this time. Like I know what that is. That's a scroll. None of you guys know what scrolls are, but I know what scrolls are. And he's a, he was a scroll. And then that's gonna open doors to, you know, all the past. Like how it's gonna make us fans to think about wait when when could Steve Rogers became a scroll? Like perhaps when he was unfrozen from the ice or something like that. Um, but yeah, overall, brilliant trailer. I love it. If you enjoyed this, my reactions um, and. Uh, Make sure you, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, I can't wait until April 26. Social media and that stalk me. Um, no, don't stalk me. But yeah, peace.